Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a few things that I need to get done. I need to clean the rat's cage out. I might clean fig. I'm not sure I might do that tomorrow. And a few other bits and pieces that I thought I'd just bring you along to watch me do basically. And I'm just gonna hold my arm here to block out my messy room. I'm also blocking out another enclosure that I have for another animal behind me. I haven't had a chance to get yet because the weather here has been horrendous. Um, I know Canadians are saying that people in the UK are overreacting about how much snow we've had, but we can't cope with the snow. So I've been thinking about getting another animal and I have the enclosure behind me, but I haven't been able to go and get the animal yet. So I'm gonna hide that from you until I'm ready to share that with you. So yeah, I thought I'd just bring you along to show you some of the things I'm doing today. Mostly cleaning animals, which is my weekend every week. But a few other things, I need to take some pictures of Fig and I need to weigh the babies because I'm really curious about how much weight they've put on since I've brought them home. So those are a few other things I'm going to do today and I'm going to bring you along with me to do that. So the first thing I am going to be doing today is cleaning the rat cage out and I cleaned it about five days ago according to Twitter because I tweeted that I had cleaned their cage and I'm noticing that having three rats is a lot more work than having two. I didn't think it would be but I do have to clean them a little bit more often than I did when I had two and I'm not going to be doing like a full on, hi Sunday, I'm not going to be doing like a full on like scrubbing everything today but the litter trays need emptying, I might as well change the bedding at the bottom and I just need to wipe down the shelves and stuff so that's the first thing that I'm going to be doing today Hello Are you coming or not? No, Rolo! Rolo, no! <laughs> Give me the flower. Thank you. Great. <laughs> you going to come out and play for a little bit while I clean your cage? Come on then. Come on, Sunday. <laughs> come on then. out now it took me longer than I was expecting I said I wasn't doing like a full-on clean I'm not gonna be doing like a full-on like scrubbing everything today but I ended up doing that anyway because I got kind of carried away and I don't know if it's weird or not I actually really enjoy cleaning them out which I guess if I didn't enjoy it it'd be a bit of a problem um but yeah I just need to feed them now and then I'm pretty much done and then I can move on to some of the other things I intended to do today it's like five o'clock now so I'm running out of time to get everything done um, but the snow has melted since I started cleaning them out as I was saying earlier I am planning on getting another animal it's nothing big or anything but it does require the snow to melt so I can actually go outside and get the animal um, so hopefully you can see that soon and 
Leave any guesses as to what I might be getting in the comments. I'm really curious about what kind of things you think I might be getting. Someone is pulling my hair. So yeah, I clean them out and I just need to feed them and then I'm going to try and do some of the other things I plan to do today. I also have some footage from the first day that it snowed. I brought a bit of snow inside to see what the rats would do, so I'll insert that footage here. So I brought some snow inside just to see what the rats do. Obviously don't go and take your rats out in the snow because that's going to make them really cold and probably really sick. But bringing it inside is okay because they can avoid it if they want to. But I just wanted to see what they do if I gave them some snow. So we shall see how they react to the snow. What is it? Don't eat it. <laughs> Don't eat it. You're not bothered. Me neither. Good boy. Oh, thank you. Thank you. This is how I go about weighing them. I'll put the scales here and then I will put the carry cage on top and then set the scales back to zero so that it isn't weighing the carry cage. And these scales are a really awkward design so I do have to hold the carry cage to make sure it doesn't fall over. But I'll just put the rats in here and because it is set back to zero then I can just see what they weigh and not what the carry cage weighs if that makes sense. So I'm going to grab one of the babies and see how much they weigh and see how it differs from how much they weighed when I first brought them home. Stay still. So Sprout weighs about 400 grams. And Sunday weighs about 430 grams. Wow, you're so much heavier. You're so much heavier than Sprout. It's worth noting that Sprout is a couple days younger than Sunday, so that along with genetics could make the difference in the weight. And just to compare, we're going to weigh Rolo as well. Yeah. Sit still. So Rolo weighs 560 grams. Because you're a big boy. He's actually much smaller than some of the other rats that I've met. I've met rats that are about 700 grams, which is absolutely massive. So yeah, that is currently how much all of my rats weigh. In comparison, Fig My Mouse weighs about 60 grams, which is so much tinier compared to them. Okay, so one of the last things I wanted to get done today is I wanted to take some more pictures of Fig because it's been a while since I actually 
put any photos of him on their Instagram, which you should totally check out by the way. If you're not following my rats and mouse on Instagram, then you definitely should. But I really need to take some more photos, so that is what I'm going to do today. And yeah, Fig is really good at having his photos taken, although now I say that he's probably not going to behave. But he is usually really good at having his photos taken. And despite the weather outside, I wanted to try and do like a spring theme because spring is supposed to be coming up, even though the weather doesn't seem like it is. But yeah, I wanted to try and take some spring photos, so hopefully he behaves for this and hopefully you can get to see a little bit of how I take pictures of them. it for everything that I had to show you today. Hope you guys enjoyed having a slightly different style of video and hope that you guys enjoyed seeing my animals a little bit more often. <laughs> Big, you are so cute. Subscribe if you want to see more animal related videos from me and we'll see you in our next video. Bye! Big, say bye! <laughs>